Let us begin exploring reactions by looking at an everyday situation. Ted and Sarah have planned to make dinner. Ted leaves work and stops at a grocery store to pick up ingredients. He arrives home with one bag of groceries. However, Ted forgot a few things, so Sarah stops at a grocery store on her way home from work. She arrives home also with one bag of groceries. They combine the contents of the grocery bags, and the result is a complete dinner. Applying chemistry terms, let us now label this reaction. Reactants are the original substances or compounds entering the reaction. Let us label our product in this diagram. Using the example of the grocery bags and dinner, let us discuss chemical equations. When writing an equation, the reactants are normally placed on the left side with a plus sign between each reactant. The products are placed on the right side of the equation. Some chemical reactions have more than one product, in which case they too are separated by a plus sign. An arrow separates the reactants and the products, or the left and right side of the equation. This arrow is called the yields symbol and points from the reactants to the product or products.